One of Africa's largest infrastructure conglomerates, Bua Group, has keyed into the federal government's tax credit scheme, which is a policy of the federal government under Executive Order 7, signed by President Muhammadu Buhari in 2019. The policy allows corporate organizations to invest in critical infrastructure, and the Boa Group is taking responsibility for the expansion and dualization of the 132 kilometers Kano Kazori Kongalam Highway under the policy. The Kano Kazori Kongalam Road is a critical transportation link that connects many communities and serves as a trade route. The dualization of this road will surely improve safety and reduce transportation time, which will make businesses easy for the people living in the area. The chairman of Boa Group, Abdul Samad Isia Karabiu, represented by Al Haji Kabiru Rabiu, gives details of the project. It will start from the Dano roundabout in Kano and end in Kongolom in Kazuna State, where 61.5 kilometers will be in Kano, 29, kilo, 29 kilometers in Jogao State, and the remaining 45 kilometers in Kazuna State, passing through Dora and end at Kongolom, which is in the you know, Kazuna State as well. The company is executing the project in collaboration with the Ministry of Works and Housing, and the minister wants more private businesses to join the fray. This is an investment that is being financed by the private sector. So the Boa Group is going to be investing a little over 115 billion naira in this space over the next few years. The project connects three states, namely Kano, Jigawa, and Katsina, and it is expected to complement the ongoing rail infrastructure projects in Nigeria's northwest region. The company plans to do more of such projects. Definitely, we have uh, you know more projects in the pipeline under the tax credit scheme, and this is because you know we're really, really concerned with the status of road infrastructure in the country, especially you know those critical roads that will further open up the country in terms of trade and productivity. The government hopes that the road upon completion will improve interstate travel and serve as a major artery for intra-African trade. Sadiq Ilyasu, Channel Star Television News.